All right, here's a quick video to show you how to attach a particle system to an object. So I'm just going to create an object here really quick. So um, I'm just going to create a cube and uh, I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit so you can see how it's going to work. I'm going to scale it down maybe right there. And uh, <clears throat> let's, um, I want to rotate it around so that you can see how it's going to work. So I'm going to do that, pull that out there, and then let's make this movable. And then let's parent it to the actor. Boom. So now it's underneath it. So if this thing, this empty actor, if that's going to rotate, uh, then the other things will rotate. Okay. And also, I think I'm going to move it up a little bit, get it up in the air. Um, maybe move it over, move it back so you can see a little bit better, move it up a little bit more. And also, let's rotate it. 90 degrees. I just want you to be able to see it well enough. Boom. There it is. All right. Now the key here is adding a component to this little blade right here, whatever you have, a fan blade is why I'm calling it that. You can see that um, the, uh, the pivot points in the center of this thing, that doesn't matter because I'm, I parented it to this empty actor and that's where the pivot is going to be when it rotates. So currently what it's doing is when I hit play, Oh, I didn't attach my <laughs> my rotating movement component on it. So I have the um, I have the the empty actor there. So this add component, I'm going to click that, and I'm going to scroll all the way down. You can see there's categories: scripting, common, AI. They're alphabetical order after you get past common. So I'm going to go down to movement, L M N O P, and attach a rotating movement component on this. And by default, it rotates 180 degrees per second on the z-axis, so that when I hit play, um, so it's going to be rotating like that. That's not a problem. And then I'm going to attach a particle system to the end of that fan blade. All right, and I probably should get this pulled up so it's not going through the ground. So I'll pull it up just a little bit more, maybe pull it over where you can see it. All right, so I'm going to select the fan blade go back to add component and go down to particle system now that's a common component so it's right here so i'm going to go to particle system and then i get to choose which particle i want so i'm going to come over here where it says none oops click it twice and i'm just going to pick one like sparks whatever and then you can see it put it right where the pivot point is. Well, it's kind of hard to see it there. So let's pull it out to the end. Boom, where it's sparking out and you can see it there. It's already attached because it is a component of the cube. And you can see that if you pull this down right there. So you can see I've got the cube, the static mesh component, and then the particle system component right there. So later on, when you're like, ah, oh, where's my particle system component? You have to click on this right here, component, particle system. So by making it a component, it's already attached. Let's hit play. Boom. And now you can see there's my particle system uh, attached to the, the fan blade as it rotates around. Pretty cool. And that's how you attach a particle system. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.